I don't tend to buy a lot of promotional items or advertisements or anything like that for different gun companies. On occasion, though, I will find something that really piques my interest that I think is cool and I have to have. So this is a leather-bound Charter Arms book from when they released their stainless steel line of revolvers. Now, this would have come normally with a actual book inside that had the history of Charter Arms called and now stainless. This particular one did not have the book in it, but I thought the case was really cool, and I think I paid like $25 for this thing. You guys know my love for Charter Arms, and I just had to pick this up. So what it was, this nice leather-bound book, again, if you look at the outside of it, it looks like it has pages on it. It has a fake bookmark in there. And when you open it up, it actually has a place to put the stainless steel revolver. So this would have come as a serialized set with one of the pistols. And then it has this little note in there. Limited edition pre-production stainless steel 38 special undercover. This is a limited edition that the Charter Arms Corporation is most proud to present. Incorporated in this unusual three-part set are the combined talents of many craftsmen, each in his own right, and a superb and meticulous artisan. Limited to 500, this pre-production of the Undercover 38 Special Revolver highlights the arrival of Charter Arms' first offerings in stainless steel. The revolver has a non-glare silk finish, and with the exception of the beryllium copper firing pin, all parts are stainless steel. Especially created for Charter Arms, the custom jade grips were crafted by Warren Long of the Stone Gallery in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Another unit in this three-piece presentation is a first edition handbound copy of and now stainless, signed by David Ecker, president of Charter Arms Corporation, with photos, technical data, and interesting details of the company's growth. This book is a valued collector's piece. This fitted case is for the book in the revolver, is leather covered and designed to simulate a hardbound rare collector's volume. All units are marked with the corresponding serial number. This certificate with the above description will serve to authenticate the complete set as truly one of the limited edition. Number PP008 is a limited edition of 500 pre-production stainless steel 38 special undercover revolvers certified by me on this 29th day of April in the year of 1981 and signed by David Ecker, President and Chairman of the Board of Charter Arms. And it has this authenticated seal. Now this revolver that's in here is not the PP008. This is my stainless steel Charter Arms revolver that I think is two years or three years newer than when this book came out. I think that's a 1983 or 84, maybe 85, something like that. And it doesn't have the green jade grips on it. This is what the pistol would have looked like when it came from Charter Arms with those jade green grips. They look pretty nice, although not the biggest fan of them, but they are cool because they're limited production. Here you can see what the serial number would have looked like with the scroll that says PP with a number on it. And this is what the entire kit would have looked like. Now, I am looking for the book that goes in here and now stainless. I found a couple copies on eBay. But I'm just trying to find one that I want to pay for. I don't want to spend an exorbitant amount of money on this, um, but I think it would be cool to put the whole set together. And I am after some green grips for one of these, although they're impossible to find because, again, they're limited edition. And if they're plastic, there's a chance they might have gotten broken. But at any rate, this is just a cool piece of Charter Arms history and a really cool like selling tool that they would have used for pre-production models that went out before the actual release. I mean, this was GoFundMe back in 1981 before they actually had Kickstarter programs and things like that. They would sell unique items like this to get the sales up. So stainless steel limited edition, Charter Arms. And again, it's a leather bound book. Looks like it has pages on it and it has the area that the pistol would go in the nice felt lining. And then the book would actually slip in here and sit on top of it. So again, just another cool thing. You guys know my love for Charter Arms. I don't know why I like this company so much. I just think it's because they're a good value for the money and they're reliable pistols. So again, just another cool thing to my Charter Arms collectibles. Um, I do have like a three foot by five foot poster as well that I haven't even put up yet. It's a sales thing that, you know, is kind of neat. Thanks for watching.